This video will show you how to use Velocitech Control Center to download data from your Velocitech Pro Start or SpeedPod. This video covers Velocitech Control Center version 2.8. To learn which version of Velocitech Control Center you have installed on your computer, click the About button on the Velocitech Control Center home screen. This video will also cover the SpeedPucks user configurable settings. The first half will show you how to download and save GPS data from your ProStart or SpeedPuck. The second half will show you how to configure a SpeedPuck through Control Center. When you connect your Velocitech device to your computer, Velocitech Control Center will take a moment to initialize communication with the device. Once communication is initialized, confirm the model and firmware version are correct. The GPS data stored on your Velocitech device is organized in two track segments. If you have GPS data stored on the device, the track segments and their start and end times will appear in this lower text box. To download data, check the radio box the left of the desired track segment and click the download button. You can monitor the download progress in the lower left hand corner and the progress bar. Save the data by clicking the Save button in the File View pop-up window. The default format for Velocitech data is .vcc, which is a proprietary Velocitech file format. You can also export the data in other formats, such as KML, and GPX. KML is a Google Earth format and .gpx is a standard GPS file format. To export as a KML or GPX file, click the export button in the file view pop-up window and select the desired track format. You can also open a track in GPS Action Replay directly from Velocitech Control Center by clicking the Play with GPS Action Replay button in the File View pop-up window. GPS Action Replay is third-party GPS replay software bundled with Velocitech Control Center. For more information on how to use GPS Action Replay, visit www.gpsactionreplay.com. Now that I'm done with this track file, I can click Close in the File View pop-up to resume interacting with the Velocitech device. All Velocitech devices store the last 20 hours of GPS data. Once you exceed 20 hours worth of data, the oldest data will be overwritten. It is not necessary to delete GPS data from your Velocitech device. Now we'll move on to the SpeedPuck user configuration. We'll start by disconnecting the ProStart and connecting a SpeedPuck. Once again, it'll take a moment to initialize communication between the control center and the speed puck. Again, you can see the model and firmware version are correct. Now that we have a speed puck connected to our computer, the speed puck device operation can be configured through the update device settings button. This button will open a device settings pop-up window. 
In this pop-up, we'll be able to configure the device operation, the logging rate, which is the frequency with which GPS data is recorded on your speed puck. You can change the speed units, the max speed display, the damping for heading and speed, and the bar graph. You can also enter your local magnetic variation in this window. Once you've configured the speed puck as you like, click OK to save the setting. You can also click default to restore the factory default settings. Once you do that, it'll exit the device settings pop-up window and you will be able to interact with the WASTEC device again. This concludes the Velocitech Control Center tutorial. Thanks for checking this video out. If you have questions, contact us at support at